What's good, YouTube? We got NBA craziest stories ever. Let's get into it. One NBA player almost died in the middle of a game. Another one sent his defender to the hospital. These are the craziest stories in NBA history. After losing to the Warriors like in the that. NBA Finals, LeBron was ready for a vacation. What so he took his Bradley? best friends, Chris Paul, D. Wade, and Melo to the Bahamas. Okay, and everything was going budget. perfect. Until that nigga got they decided to take a breaks. boat out to try a little bit of snorkeling. Oh, and man. managed to find a cave with all sorts of wildlife. Oh, that's hard. But once the group was finished and on the boat, they quickly realized Melo was missing mellow how the hell you get lost nigga the current is taking me in the middle of the oh earth, like, of the boat. he, he did say uh oh, he LeBron was bringing me back with him. one with one arm he <laughs> swimming he swimming with the other arm and I, he lebron the superhero look so you're telling me lebron has hey, to carry his teammates and carmelo Hello. But that's not the Hello. only crazy story LeBron is a part of. Because when he first entered the NBA, yeah, he know. almost died in a plane crash. Damn. You see, when LeBron was first drafted, he but was concerned with so how old the team's private jet was. He even went directly to the owner and let him know how he was feeling. But because private jets can cost you millions of dollars, LeBron and his teammates were stuck with the old one. Until the team had a flight to Houston to make it to the NBA All-Star game. And what no one knew is that this plane ride was going to make them fear for their lives. They could have gave him a new plane. The second the plane was in the air, LeBron knew that something wasn't right. The lights started flickering uh, on and off. Nah. And the plane had so much turbulence, it caused multiple people to throw up. It even uh, left the flight attendant with a broken ankle. But plane, the worst part why. was, LeBron and the rest of the passengers started seeing smoke coming from the kitchen. Uh, Imagine being nah, 40,000 feet in the air and you see smoke coming from your plane luckily everyone made it safe and the cavaliers owner was able to buy another jet but lebron's not the only player with a crazy story because this next player almost had their career ended it was just another day for steph curry and he was on his way over to the warriors practice facility but it was a rainy day in San Francisco. And while Curry was driving story. on the Couple freeway, times. another driver lost control. The driver smashed into Curry. But that's not even the worst part. Because 10 minutes later, while Curry was waiting for the police to arrive, the same thing would happen again. Another car Damn. lost control and hit Steph for the second time. Twice? Luckily, Steph was uninjured. But we can't say the same thing for his black Porsche. I don't think he's driving that again. I mean, Good at Porsche, least when the nice. cops showed up, they got a pick with their favorite NBA player. Yeah. However, that's not the only at insane story away, Steph home. Curry's involved in. Because in the 2015 NBA Finals, he sent his defender to the hospital. The Damn. finals matchup was between the Cavs and the Warriors. Kings. And when Kyrie Irving went down with an injury, the Cavs desperately needed someone to step up. And that man was Matthew Dellavedova. He was given the impossible Della assignment Vidova to guard Steph Curry stuff, for what? the entire game. And he did just that. He was giving Steph Curry problems all night. But after game three, something was different. After playing 38 minutes, when Matthew went back to the locker room, he couldn't control his body. First my quads both cramped, Damn. then my hammies, then my adductors. I couldn't move off the training table. The Cavs medical staff was aggressively rubbing ice all over Matthew's body, while at the same time putting IVs into his arms. The doctors were trying everything to avoid severe dehydration and a full body cramp. Once the doctors finally got his body under control, he was sent to the hospital where he would stay overnight. Now, although Steph Curry Steph sending you to the hospital you so is a crazy you go to the story, hospital, it's bro, hard to beat different. eating so much candy that it almost ends your NBA career. NBA player, stay your ass off the candy, nigga. For Stay almost a decade, candy. while Dwight Howard was blocking and dunking on everyone, the Howard, he was also the struggling white, with a crippling I said addiction. The the white the nasty nigga, man. Lollipops, Lollipops, hungry ass nigga, uh, be farting on the court and twigs. shit. Snickers, every candy you could think of. It was like a gas Look station at in my house. An addiction that caused him to be 24 candy bars worth of sugar 
every single day. I'm talking Skittles, Starburst, Snickers, and his absolute well, you favorite got a million dollar Reese's body Pieces. No, but man. that's not even the, the worst part. Yourself, bro. Because along with his candy addiction, Cap he would also diabetes. eat McDonald's before oh, every man. single game. And he would get the Nigga same order McDonald's? every single time. Two double cheeseburgers, a large fry, a strawberry milkshake, and a large Coke. That's why That's your ass was fun on the court, but this bro. diet led to major side effects. Dwight was then traded to the Lakers at 27 years old. And he didn't know it yet, but this trade Diabetes. would save his life. When he got to the Lakers, he started feeling tingling in his legs and fingers. This was when the Lakers nutritionist no, completely switched his diet and might have saved his life. I just have to know how he was able to play in the NBA with that diet. Now, having a diet almost end your NBA career is pretty bad. But have you ever forgotten to switch your Twitter account? No? Well, Kevin Durant did. After KD left the Thunder uh, to yeah, join the did. Warriors, he became yeah, one of the most hated athletes on the planet. On little, uh, and while no one likes criticism, Kevin wait, Durant baby. couldn't take it any longer. So he would do what any of us would do and decide to make burner accounts, allowing him to say anything he wanted that without anyone knowing it was him. Accounts. But on September 17th, a tweet by Cole Cashwell would spark a response from the man himself. Man, I respect the hell out of you, but give me one legitimate reason for leaving leaving OKC other than getting a championship. Durant responded with, he didn't like the organization or playing for Billy Donovan. His roster wasn't that good. It was just him and Russ. But to make it even worse, Kevin doubled down and tweeted a second time. Imagine taking Russ off that team. See how bad they were? KD can't win a championship with those cats. Once Kevin realized, he quickly deleted the tweets, but the damage was already done. Everyone already saw. Now, you would think getting caught would make KD retire the burner accounts for good, but he Nigga said multiple times burner. that he still has burners to this day. So be careful arguing basketball on Twitter, because you may be talking to the man himself. Now, at least Kevin Durant is only getting in trouble on Twitter because KCP had to wear an ankle monitor during NBA games. When Contavious was playing for the Pistons, he was arrested for driving under the influence and he was sentenced to 25 days in prison, but he was allowed to attend practices and play in games. He just had to show up rocking the brand new ankle monitor lows, only in store for a limited time. But it wasn't that easy because the only games he could attend had to be in California. Damn. So when the Lakers went past state lines, he had no choice but to stay home and watch the game on his TV. Now, although KCP was able to snag the ankle monitor lows, this next story is ankle even crazier. Lows, Imagine right? going from a nine to five job to playing in the NBA because that's exactly what happened to Jonathan Simmons. After playing Jonathan. basketball for four years in college, it looked like his career was over. But that's when the San Antonio Spurs were hosting open tryouts. The only requirement was a $150 registration fee, Damn. and Simmons made the most of that his opportunity. Not only making the Spurs G League team, but also making the Spurs actual roster. For two years, he balled out and ended up signing a three-year $20 million deal with I the mean? Orlando Magic. The boy got yeah, that's he right. My man turned a $150 tryout 20 into a $20 million dollar contract. And when Look asked about his legendary story, he said he almost gave up on basketball. He was moving back home to get a nine to five to support his four daughters. He said, Listen, I was just gonna wing it. To talk about this next story, we have to go back to the 2008 NBA hey, Finals. Dude. Celtics vs Lakers, the greatest rivalry in NBA history. Game 1, the Lakers had a 2 point lead. Paul Pierce was guarding Kobe Bryant, and after he made a tough bucket, Pierce would fall to the floor grabbing his knee. It seemed like time stopped, everyone in the arena was holding their breath. And it got even worse when three of his teammates had to lift him up onto a wheelchair to be taken to the locker room. All the Celtics' hopes to win the finals were gone in an instant. But when all hope was lost, only two minutes later, Pierce was spotted jogging back to the bench. 
With a loud standing ovation from the crowd, Pierce was ready to go back into the game. The Celtics ended up winning this game, 98-88, to and it left everyone with a million questions. What but the hell, all that Pierce? would be said was that Pierce had a sprained right knee, until 11 years later, when the truth was finally exposed. Paul here, 11 years ago today, wheelchaired off the floor for reasons he will keep to himself. <laughs> I have a confession to make. Whoa! I just had to go to a bathroom. Uh, one, or I had to go to the bathroom. So hold on. You're Cap telling me he faked an injury just to use the bathroom? I guess you gotta do what you gotta do, but I think the wheelchair was a little excessive. However, this next player's injury is anything but fake. It all started in the Tokyo Olympics, only two years ago, when the Australian national team was fighting for a gold medal. It was the start of the fourth quarter, and the coach was looking for Aaron Baines, their star center, to help them close the game. But no one knew where he was. Then, while checking the bathroom, a staff member found him unconscious on the floor. And after waking up, Baines was terrified. Not only was he struggling to stay awake, but he completely forgot how to walk. After getting him to the hospital, Sheesh. he underwent multiple scans, and the MRI would show he had internal bleeding that Yo. was putting pressure on his spine. For nearly two weeks, he focused on only trying to stand, and then he would work his way up to learning how to walk again. But even with all the good news, everyone was still confused. What happened to Aaron Baines? Well, just three days before they found him unconscious, he had a different accident. During halftime, he went up for a regular dunk, but instead of landing like he normally would, his hand slipped, and he fell on his back and neck. Although he was okay, Sheesh. this would lead to his life completely I changing. Bane said man. he only remembers running to use the bathroom. After that, nothing. Taking two major falls and landing on his neck and back, he done almost, the messed up his whole almost life. being paralyzed. But luckily, trying he's trying to make a comeback to the NBA. But the NBA is pretty strict. Don't believe me? Well, check out these accessories that are banned by the NBA. Hey, if y'all enjoyed the video, hit that like, comment, subscribe. I am out of here.